Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Free Call. This is the England game. We have last episode declared independence and this episode will be continuing the War of Independence. Now we've lost several colonies since the uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, we've lost uh, basically uh, Cooper's Cove, Nonsuch, Hampton, Popham, and Henricus. Uh, now, I have lost track of where the expeditionary force has gone, but uh, we're almost uh, even in military strength with the expeditionary force at this point. So, uh, let's uh, move on and then see what happens. Uh, we're just about to the point where we need to go back and conquer our, uh, reconquer our colonies. And that's... Uh, Ah, they're coming up to St. John's. Okay. Uh, so we need to, to go back and start uh, reconquering our uh, colonies. But we need to destroy most of the force first. Which, uh, once they've parked outside St. John's, we can do a fair bit of that. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we can uh, uh, pretty uh, handily uh, trounce them. Uh, but that's uh, the point I, I was waiting for. I was waiting for them to come at St. John's where I've got uh, the absolutely massive um, um, uh, army. Uh, the intervention force has arrived, uh, so that will be helpful. Uh, I think I'll use the intervention force to go and recapture a couple of colonies. Um uh, and then we've got our, our stuff here. We're not worried about the production stuff at the moment. Uh, uh, we have done several victories where they attacked um, uh, St. John's. Um, probably because they attacked after moving. Um, okay, so we did a fair amount of damage to the expeditionary force. Uh during that defense uh so i'm just going to uh yeah uh so let's just uh, take a look here at the uh, foreign affairs advisor so their military strength is down to 676 and our military strength is 1045 now which means we had a bunch of uh uh units uh promoted right uh so uh what i want to do here I'm just going to park the, these guys there. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to fortify a bunch of these guys. Um, now, I'm going to attack uh, with... Um, no. Uh, with artilleries here. Uh, no. Uh, we're going to attack... Yeah, so the more uh, we can uh, uh, defeat here, uh, the more of these uh, 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 units are gone, the the better uh, uh, the better our uh, no. Uh, what's here? Okay, we'll attack. Right, you can fortify. Okay, now uh, we've got more artillery we can attack with. What? No. No, we need we need artillery with movement points. Yeah. Okay, attack. Bam. Okay, and then we'll go in here. And we will take another guy, attack, bam. Okay, so that's taken those guys out. Uh, okay, uh, we have... Uh, okay, well, let's uh, take this down this way. And you can come down this way. Uh, you can park. Uh, you can, you guys can park. Uh, 
Okay. Um, okay, well, we'll uh, park some stuff there. Okay, we've got a couple men of war and several boats full of troops, which I think I'll use to uh, reconquer Cooper's Cove. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's uh, just check in with the uh, foreign affairs advisor. So the expeditionary force is, uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, so you know this war of independence is clearly going to be winnable. Uh, if the uh, if the uh, AIs had slightly better. Um, Um, I guess, uh, um, planning, I guess, uh, we might have, uh, had a, or better tactics. We might have had a, uh, a harder time of it, but we've got the, uh, fair, uh, bulk of the expeditionary force. Okay. So uh victory victory defeat right defeat uh defeat victory victory okay we have uh well let's uh go in here uh you might as well be a dragoon right you can come out of there okay um right okay well we'll go up here and i guess we'll fortify equip as dragoon Fortify, equip as Dragoon. Uh, no. You can equip as Dragoon. Okay. You can fortify and also equip as Dragoon. Now, in here, we have horses, which we can take out, um, and you can come out, you can come out, you can come out. Yeah, we've got too many of those, but we're going to equip all of these, so, uh, right, but we'll start with the veterans which are all uh, equipped okay okay now where are we here you can be a dragoon yeah so can you yeah Right, right, okay, well, uh, no, what I should do, no, we have too many of those, I'm going to uh, stash those, you can go up here, I guess, uh, okay, yep, that'll do for now. Um, yeah, that'll do for now. Okay. Now, what do we have here? A big stack. Okay, we're going to attack. Defeat. Nope. Uh, 
attack. Defeat. Attack. Victory! Yay! Attack. Defeat. Attack. See, what we want to do is clear the... Uh, the... Um, the um, uh, guards of these uh, it, um, artillery pieces, right? Um, so if we do this enough times, we should... Okay, there's a victory. Uh, we should eventually uh, clear those. Right. Okay. Attack. Victory. Okay, now the artillery are in the open. We can attack it with damaged. Uh, okay. A victory. And a victory. And a victory, right? Nope, a defeat. That's fine. We just need to whittle down the uh, um, expeditionary forces uh, uh, stuff here. Uh, the more we whittle it down, of course, the better off we'll be. Okay. Now this is a little bit tedious, of course. Um, defeat. <laughs> um, but it is basically what we need to do. I could just passively let them attack, but uh, the artillery is, uh, as you can see, a lot easier to defeat in the open when it's not attacking you from cover um, and that's uh, and that's what we're doing here right we are uh, whittling down the uh, uh, the artillery uh, which uh, does a uh, fair bit of uh, damage to the overall combat ability of the expeditionary force. Now, what, what do we have left here? Uh, wow, still quite a bit. Okay. Um, here, we'll attack. Uh, that was a defeat. We will attack. That was a victory. And that was also a victory. Uh, attack. Now you might be wondering if this uh, Mega Stacks of Doom thing, whoops, uh, is at all realistic. Uh, like, would there have been massive? Uh, could could there have been massive piles of artillery and uh, uh, army troops and so on? And the answer is yes, there could have been. It's not that unrealistic. Um, it, uh, like, if you look back at uh, uh, historical battle <laughs> descriptions and so on, um, you know, you, you find a, a lot of uh, cases where the opposing sides, over, uh, you know, had millions of men in their armies and. Uh, yeah, so that that's basically your mega stack of doom is your uh, million man army with uh, 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 you know basically uh, uh, endless, uh, roughly endless uh, 
uh, supplies and everything, right? Uh, but the logistics of it is a pain in the butt, and it takes forever to move that around. And uh, that part is actually fairly realistic, too. So the foreign affairs advisor says the military strength of the expeditionary force is down to 264. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're doing uh, quite well here. Okay, we're going to... What? No. We want to do this all. Okay. And then you can back up. You come in. And all. Go out. You come in. Deposit all. Uh, okay, you come in and you deposit all. Okay, and go out. Okay, so that gets the uh, intervention force down there. Now let's uh, let's move on and see what happens. We should be in a pretty solid uh, place to. Uh, start uh, reconquering things. I highly doubt they're going to be able to take St. John's now. We've got too many, too many defenses there and they don't have enough units. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, right. Now... If we take an artillery and we attack this guy and we win, uh, okay, we can attack the artillery and we can attack the artillery and we that's a full on. We can attack there. Nope. Attack. Yep. Attack. Yep. Hey, you can... You can attack, too. Defeat. Huh. Attack. A victory. Okay, now, if we grab... Here. Right. That was a victory. Right, and if we attack this guy, nope, we attack this guy, yep, okay, so far so good. Now, we want to come down here, and we're going to start with the artillery and attack. Victory! Okay, we have Cooper's Cove. Right. So far, so good. So, whoops, no. We'll fortify these guys. Right. So the reason I built all the roads, other than having something for my pioneers to do, was to make it easy to um, move my uh, uh, army around, right? Yes, it makes it easy for the expeditionary force to move around, but it also means uh, I can move around easier uh, with my uh, interventionary uh, uh, stack of doom here. Okay, now, uh, you can fortify, yep, yeah. okay, fortify those guys. Okay, now, over here, uh, I'm going to attack with the cavalry. What? Attack. What? Why? 
Okay. Well, let's, uh, there's clearly a bug there. Uh, there was movement left and it should have uh, allowed something to happen. Uh, uh, we have a frigate, a man of war, uh, da, 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 da. Right. Right. Okay. Um, right. Right. You can come out here. Fortify, 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 fortify. Okay. You attack. Okay. Defeat. Huh. Attack. Okay. Defeat. Attack. Okay. Victory. Destroy the damaged artillery. Okay. Attack. 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 Victory. Right. Attack. Attack. Okay. There we go. There's another one of our... Uh, uh, colonies uh, recovered. Okay. Uh, good. Now, if we come this way, what are our odds of attacking and winning here? Victory. Wild. Attack. Victory! We have Hampton back. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's uh, three of our colonies recovered. Uh, so we're going to go like this. And we got Poffum back. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's uh, go up here with this guy. Did they leave anybody in here? Um, they must have. Okay. Defeat. Okay. okay. You can fortify. You can come out of there. Okay. Uh, you. Okay. Okay. Put that there. Okay. So uh, we're uh, basically, I think, just about one colony away from winning our independence. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, when we get our colony back, I think we'll be we'll be pretty solid. Um, right. Okay. So let's go up here, and we will attack. Okay. Victory. Right. And we go here. Attack. Okay. And we got our colony back okay now 
Uh, we need to go up here, attack that. Good. You guys can just fortify all over the place here. Because there really isn't anything else we need to do. Um, yeah, there really isn't. Okay, fortify. Good. Now, I think if we look at the Foreign Affairs Advisor, military strength seven. So uh, I think the expeditionary force should surrender. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Da 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 da. da. And we have defeated the expeditionary force. Okay. Well, what this means, we have won the game. Now we could continue, uh, you know, playing the game to the point, you know, wiping out the other European forces and so on you know basically be the united states or something like that uh or try you know but uh we have one independence we have a ridiculous army we with a bunch of time marshalling troops around and so on we could go on a conquering spree and take over the entire new world it's pretty much a done deal at this point because all the other call uh, other european powers they have nothing here uh, these tiny colonies, as you can see, but we have, uh, built up and fortified. So, uh, we have basically a complete, uh, uh, a, you know, a complete military machine here that, uh, could steamroll. And, you know, quite frankly, we've got enough ships, uh, we've got naval superiority, uh, we've got, uh, you know, basically... Uh, we've won the game. Uh, so, uh, and then if we take a look in here, our uh, stuff here in St. John's is just ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, so we've still got that level of ridiculousness. Now, I expect at some point in the future, there will be uh, some adjustments to the game that will uh, uh, eventually give the AI a better shot. Uh, the expeditionary force could have better tactics. Uh, they still, I don't think, would have won. But if they would have concentrated their forces on the strongest um, uh, city and just bashed at it uh, for a while, uh, they might have had a chance. If they if they could have taken St. John's, then uh, they had a chance. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, so if you're ever playing free call and you want the uh, surefire way to win, well, you've just seen it. Uh, I didn't do anything particularly special here, and it came out uh, uh, pretty solid. Uh, if you didn't know what you're doing, you're just muddling around, you'd have had a much higher pro uh, chance of things failing or whatever. And even with the uh, dealing with certain uh, UI bugs in the game and so on, this actually worked uh, worked out uh, pretty solidly. So, yeah, uh, I I guess uh, you know this is going to be the end of the free call series. Obviously, uh, I might come back to this save and poke around with it at some point and uh, see what it takes to conquer the Europeans, but probably not. Uh, so, the, so I'm not I'm not going to start up another uh, uh, free call uh, right away. Uh, I might later, uh, after there's been some more development on the game, uh, I might not. So uh, next week in this time slot, there will be a different game. And uh, yeah, that uh, game, I think, is going to be Ostrev. Uh, yeah, uh, 
you know, there's been uh, a, a release recently, an update, uh, which has changed some details on the game. And I think it'd be worth uh, taking a few pokes at it and uh, give it another try. Uh, both because I have a beefier uh, computer system and because uh, there's been some bugs fixed and so on. So it should deal with larger uh, colonies better. And there's been some changes with uh, other things like uh, you can build houses without uh, yards and so on, apparently. So, yeah, uh, generally, uh, it's, it's probably going to be Ostriv next week. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to try and be a little bit less... Um, um, scattered, I guess, uh, with uh, this upcoming Ostriv. Uh, but, you know, just, uh, you know, just be prepared. I'm going to do stupid stuff, just as I did in the previous one. So, yeah, um, there you have it. So that's a uh, free call taken to the uh, uh, declaration of, to the winning of independence. I'm going to fortify everything here and uh, uh, right and we'll just see if we get any pop up uh, at the start of the next turn. Um, yeah, probably not. There we go. There's the victory uh, pop up. So we'll get that out of the way. You are victorious. Well, we could continue playing. I'm going to uh, continue playing so that I can see this stuff. Um, I've apparently achieved a high score of 135,458. Um, uh, in uh, spring of 1725, uh, we declared we won our independence. Uh, obviously, um, 50 odd years early. <laughs> um, and uh, with this was medium difficulty. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, right. So, yeah, uh, uh, this is, uh, there's the, uh, the win. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for free call for now. Uh, so I guess, uh, uh, you know, stay healthy, come back for the, uh, Ostriv next week, right? Uh, don't let the, uh, uh, well, ongoing, I guess, apocalypse get you down too much. I mean, it is, uh, it, it is looking like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but you never can tell with these things. So don't let it get you down too much. And of course there's like, comment, subscribe do the bell thing, whatever, or not, as you see fit. And uh, see you back next time.